a fine art landscape photographer and I work only with film using vintage cameras and I either shoot a panoramic image or a square image but primarily panoramic and the equipment I use renders a non-distorted view which is essentially a realist viewpoint of mostly broad open landscapes and I, I work a lot around estuaries because I grew up around estuaries and I like how dynamic they are and how they change throughout the seasons and throughout the day as well. And the film aspect is really enjoyable because it slows my process down and allows me to really explore particular subject matter in a real sort of painstaking way to make sure I'm capturing exactly the way I want to capture it. It takes so long to sh for me to shoot. It's about a three week time period between I actually make an exposure and see all of the film finally processed and it takes another couple of weeks to generate a print thereafter. And I only shoot a few images a year. Um, a, a big year for me is eight images. Some years it's, 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 it's as few as two. And essentially what I do is I find a location and I figure out how to photograph it, when to photograph it, and then I just keep going back and doing it until I feel like I have the, the right image, and then I'll move on to something else. My end goal is to have something people want to hang on their walls, so therefore I'm looking to have something that's rich in tones, it's a little more mellower, and something that blends into people's households or their offices, and something they find soothing, I guess. Not to mention images of places that people recognize as well, such as, as, as the Weir Estuary, which I photographed a few times. There are a number of different things that inspire me about the Weir River Estuary, and a lot of it is because it's more dynamic than other estuaries I photograph. There's different parts, there's islands within the marsh, which I really enjoy. Some estuaries, the way they're, they're lined up, you know, south to north or whatever. I'm really sort of uh, forced to only photograph them in a particular part of the day. With Weir, because it bends and turns so much, there's so much more going on, plus the rock formations that you see, which a lot of other estuaries in the South Shore that I visit, there's really not that many rock formations. And I love that element when it comes in, because it's not just marsh and sky and water, you end up getting a a, another feature, like a monolith that comes out. And then the way the light can hit the rock as well is, is, is quite fascinating. And I like the fact that the estuary is so accessible to people. You know, they drive by it and they know that they can stop any time and visit it. When I'm passing from Hingham to Hull, for instance, I, I actually see places that I photographed. And it's really fun to see them change all throughout the year. And I always take notice when I'm driving through. There's a particular place that I photographed around the corner, which, was, which is one of my favorite photographs. And I get to see how it constantly evolves from season to season to season. My favorite image that I've taken of the Weir River is actually one of my favorite images of all time, which was shot right off of uh, George Washington Boulevard. I scouted it in the early spring and recognized that I'd be better off doing it in more of a late summer time frame. And I drove by, you can see it right from the road. So then I had to determine the time of day, which I knew was gonna be sunset, and the tide, I needed full tide. And I really wanted some of the, the grass to be a particular color, and but I wanted the trees still to be green. I didn't want to be in an autumn image. So I went and, and parked at the courthouse and walked across the street and I needed to be up a little bit higher to get the ref to be able to see down into the water and get the reflections. So I ended up standing on the guardrail and, and balancing the tripod around my feet and I managed to pull it off without, without the camera shaking. And I, the thing I love about it is not only the intrinsic value of the photograph, which is one of my one of my personal favorites, but the fact that there's all this going on behind that it just gets shut out of, you know, the you know, the courthouse, the hustle and bustle, which you'd never realize. It, it looks like something you'd see out in one of the national parks or something. 
It, it truly is just a magnificent viewpoint over there. Once you start looking at it and shutting out the hustle bustle behind you and what's going on, it's truly a magnificent place. Happy National Estuaries Week.